Hey everyone, Sarah Gaston here. Thank you so much for joining me. Listen, today I want to talk to you about my favorite way to memorize lines. In fact, I have tried a lot of methods over the years and I think this is truly the best way. Um, I sort of developed this method based loosely on an exercise I found in here, which is Harold Guskin's How to Stop Acting. Fantastic book. Pick it up if you don't already have it. And basically, the way the exercise goes, and the way I've interpreted the exercise, and I use it to memorize lines, is that I will take the very, very first line of dialogue, and I will look down, and I will let it sort of roll around in my head, and then I'll look up and just throw it out there. I wish you wouldn't encourage that. Okay, that is a line from Barbara August Osage County one of my favorite plays of all time and certainly a dream role for me. Anyway, so I'll say it one time, just saying it whatever, and then I'll try a different way, like, oh, I wish you wouldn't encourage that. And then I'll try it a different way. I wish you wouldn't encourage that. And then I'll try it a different way. I wish you wouldn't encourage that. And then I'll try it a different way. I wish you wouldn't encourage that. So basically what I'm, ha what, what I'm doing there is I'm exploring a lot of different ways to let this line settle in for me. And when I've tried it several different ways, um, I just move on to the next line. And then I do the same thing with the next line. And then I put them together. And then I go on and on until I've sort of created a chain, if you will, of memorized lines. But each line has its own particular meaning and resonance for me because it would for the character. What I see a lot of actors do, and I think this is just a big mistake, is that they sort of read over their script and they decide how they should say this line. So there's no allowance for any sort of spontaneity or creativity or anything unexpected or surprising to happen. So I find with this way of learning lines, first of all, each line really matters. It doesn't get sort of smeared generically into a bunch of other lines. It has its own individual significance, which is to represent a thought or a feeling of the character. And then as I keep rehearsing, it maintains a fluidity and a flexibility so I don't get locked into a certain way of saying the line, which is just death to a performance. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Go try this at home. I promise you it works. The other great thing about this method for me is that it really helps me lock in the line line perfect, which means word for word exactly what the writer said. First of all, we want to honor our writers. They get paid a lot of money to do what they do, and there's a reason that's their job, and acting is our job, so we want to respect that. And also, the way a writer writes something makes a difference. It, it means something to how they want you to portray that character because it means something about that character's worldview or point of view. So the closer we can adhere intentionally to word perfect, the closer we will be to realizing the character that the author envisioned. Okay? Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, as always, if you like this video, please share it. You can join my YouTube channel. And um, I'm also teaching virtual classes and Skype coaching right now. You can check all that out on my website at www.saragaston.com. Dot com. Thank you so much for joining me and break a leg out there. And also, here's a bunny.